I totally forgot to hit record, so... You better get your sports straight. You better get, you better get your sports straight. Look it up. Google it, fool. Google it. Welcome back to a new video. We are out here today. Don't hate the play, I hate the game. Yo, don't hate the play, I hate the game. What are we doing? We're out in the garage trying to declutterize the clutter and clean it up. I already did a couple of uh, two sweatshirts earlier today. And we're just out here just doing some things, getting stuff ready for making this area back to what it was when I first had it going. When I had it first going, it was t-shirts and sweatshirts. And well, we got the hat press now, hats now, and stickers and skateboards and everything you can think of that you can put on the internet. I double dog dare you to go look at it. I double dog dare you to go just look and support something that we do out here. But my thought process is that we take everything out of here that you would use in the garage. Like if you need to cut wood. That's what you normally do in a garage. You cut wood, you make stuff, you do you do stuff in the garage. But in this garage, screen printing shop. We have a fully functioning, non-functioning carport. That's just a dump, a hazard, as you can see that. We already went to the dump once. We gotta, I gotta go to the, go to the dump two more times because all this stuff over here, down here is a barrel full of trash and we have a garbage can full of trash and just a bunch of random things for making t-shirts and what else? Yeah, just making t-shirts and plastic heat transfers and all that stuff. And I'm probably gonna get, cause I'm gonna go ask to use my grandpa's truck Oh, you, you, you can't burn the garbage? You don't want to just burn the garbage? We tried burning the garbage. And, uh, because these are the, the DTF transfers that I did. So the, the DTF, the two sweatshirts that I did earlier today, I'll talk about those. That's all, the thing that I used to do out here all the time. We used to do t-shirts, stickers, and all this stuff, and then sit down and talk about what we did earlier. And I'm trying to get back to that, but I haven't gotten to that because it's been a hectic cluttered mess and I can declutterize it, get everything organized and get everything to the dump that needs to go to the dump. But the reason why I say that I'm probably, oh, you can't just burn the garbage? No, because these transfers come on a plastic backing right here. Same with the plastic heat transfers. Yeah, they're on paper, but there's glue. There's special glue stuck to the paper and burning that stuff, even in my wood burner over here, it's springtime now but in the winter time and then in the summertime i have out there on the pat patio i have the little wood burning thing out there too that we can sit around and and just chop it up and make some mores and do whatever we do out there yeah i tried burning this stuff and i tried burning that other stuff that stuff it just stinks to the stinks to no end stinks to everybody's it smells and it pours out black smoke i don't want black smoke pouring out of my uh thing because it's just very very stinks really bad that's what we're um doing out here is trying to clean up declutterize and make this just a workshop of t-shirt stickers and t-shirts and stickers and what else t-shirts and stickers and sweatshirts exactly but we're gonna keep this area right here right here like the tool the tool section because i got my tools in, some tools in here i got all my other tools in here i got some tools up here I got some stuff out here that I use outside, inside, wherever I use them. Screws, some longer screws, some more long screws, and I have a whole bunch of drywall screws in the back over there that I like use to just repair stuff because you can basically use drywall screws for anything that you need getting done with or screw screwed in with. If it's outside, you know, nobody's looking at the fence that closely. You didn't use deck screws or whatever, I just use drywall screws. Who cares what kind of screws you use outside? Sometimes the people that I try to tell you things, how to do things, and they're watching you do the things that they're trying to do, and they try to tell you stuff, how to do it, but you're doing it the way that you want to do it, they got a couple screws loose in their head anyway, so who cares what they have to say? But other than that, I got almost everything taken care of and cleaned up and ready to go and I just wanted to I put this over here I don't know if you can see this I put this uh, sheet over my 
heat press because I just wanted to keep it cool I mean or just neutralized because it I don't know what it is if it's the weather in Washington or because this is a garage and it's an old garage there's not that many there's like gaps and cracks in places so there's a draft in here once in a while sometimes this thing takes the longest time to heat up secret that I've been doing to get this thing going so I unscrew the back turn the heater on and almost dry it like I don't know if there's moisture in there but I kind of like heat up the element inside the machine that heats up the element so I heat the element up to make it work faster because I've been having problems well not now because I kind of I fixed it and I realized well maybe because I don't have it covered it just gets moisture inside the element that heats up the, the big heater so that's what I was thinking I just put this on here and maybe this will take care of some of that moisture problem and just keep that dry so I don't have to keep popping the back off and heating the element up or drying it out or doing whatever turning it on so it heats up faster because sometimes it will just get stuck at a number and it won't heat up but I figured out if I do this and then turn it back on and kind of fiddle with it a couple of times and hit the turn the fuse like this it will heat up but I don't want to keep doing that that's what's been going on out there but first of all and foremost if you're watching this we're gonna take pictures of this and this is gonna be on the website as you're as you're watching this is already up on the internet and this is my uh boom it's like easy e but if you notice He's holding a skateboard. There's a little area right here that's holding a skateboard. And this said Compton, but I took that out and put to Compton because people around Tacoma area, in the area that I live in, when you're just when they describing something to somebody about Tacoma, they always compare it to Compton for some reason because it's just some parts of Tacoma are super grimy and slimy. So that's why sometimes people call it to Compton. So I just put easy E with the skateboard and put to Compton instead of Compton. It's funny. I also have another one that I haven't got came out with yet, but the JDM Joey. And if you know about it, you know about it. If you know about the 253 Customs, I think I'm gonna do a little, just a little graphic about the 253 Customs. And if you know about the 253 Customs, you were in there when uh, the Honda game, when doing stuff to your car with the Hondas and whatever, turbo in them, a VTEC, put VTEC in them, and doing all the cool things to your car when it was cool. When you had the 253 custom sticker on your car, you were part of the crew. If you didn't, you were not. I thought it would be cool to put the, this, this base, we're gonna call this, what is this? The Vato Loco Forever Crusader Skateboards. I'm trying to figure out what that font's called, but I'm trying to also figure out to call it what to name this hoodie. I don't, I don't, I don't even want, I don't know if I should call it the Vato, maybe the Vato hoodie. The Vato Crew Neck, the Forever Crew, not, well, the Crusader Skateboards, Forever Crusaders, same exact thing, same same exact place, just the Forever part is more of the streetwear, and the Crusader Skateboards is, you already know, I don't have to explain, when I say skateboards, this thing is skateboarding, you understand it, you understand it, and if you don't, it's not my fault, it's yours. If you haven't gone down, www.forevercrusaders.com, uh, if you haven't purchased anything, that's not my fault, that's yours, but the thing I'm going to be doing a thing where I'm gonna I gotta get a hold of this organization because if you didn't know I'm just gonna break it down just a little bit for you because you just if you don't know you know and if you know you know so it's more of a cerebral palsy and if I'm not gonna explain what that is but it's a brain injury I was uh, the doctors waited too long for me to when my mom was giving birth they waited too long for me to give me birth Nah, let me, they waited too long because my mom was in labor and they waited too long to get me out. So I had a brain injury when I was little in the womb still. So they had to give my mom emergency C-section and pop me out that way. And I was born dead purple and blue and I had, it was in the, whatever it was, whatever you want to call it when they put babies in the NICU or whatever. I was in there for the longest time. So I want to find an organization or something that deals with people with, because I have a mild case of it. Some people don't even know I have it. I walk like a pimp. I walk with a limp. Uh, I call it the pimp walk. You can't really, you can't notice it unless you really look. Uh, you know, I don't, you know, I skateboard, I do all the things. People, you know, sometimes, you know, I skate the way that I skate. And if you don't like it, you don't like it. That's not my fault. That's yours. So I want to try to get in touch with the organization that helps people with that has way more severe cerebral palsy than I do and try to, uh, I don't know, give back a little bit of the profits or proceeds or whatever I can to like have like charity or whatever. 
I don't know. I, it's been a thought of an idea for a very long time. And sometimes when I talk about things out in the open, I actually go do them. So that's one thing that I'm thinking about doing. So if you haven't bought anything at www at Forever Crusaders, you might be helping, you know, a charity or something like that. So that's what I'm trying to do. Trying to get, trying to spread the word, you know, because there's everybody else is trying to do something. So why don't I try to do something?